Hello everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to another Friday live here at my YouTube channel. My name is Christina and today we are going to be on a rainbow marathon. I have so many things planned for today's live stream. Um, in the title, the original title of this I said three ways to create rainbow cards. We're doing four. I came up with another one while I was uh, kind of prepping. So we're going to go over four different ways to use the new rainbow collection from Honeybee. And Honeybee came out with this great collection recently with dies and stamps, um, even a hot foil plate. Um, they've got some pattern paper, some like little rhinestones and gems, things like that. I'm not going to be using everything from that collection, um, but I'm going to use a lot of it. And whoever designed this, I have a suspicion that it was my friend, Melissa, who owns Honeybee. Um, whoever just did this, just completely knocked it out of the park, came up with so many creative ways to use the same rainbow kind of design using dies or stamps or whatever. Um, it's amazing. And you're going to, you're going to love it. You've probably seen some of it online already because it came out earlier this week, I think. But, um, I saw preview images, <laughs> from Honeybee, just in emails and on Instagram. And I was like, Oh, I need to order that whole collection. And then that day when I was like hoping that, you know, I was waiting for it to be released. I got an email notification that Melissa was sending it to me. So big thank you to Melissa. She's, she, I emailed her and I was like, thank you so much. And she's, she's like, I knew you'd like this one. <laughs> she was correct. She knows me too well. Okay. So let's switch to, um, overhead to kind of see what's going on here. So here are some of the products from the rainbow collection. I don't even know if they just called it rainbow collection or maybe it had a different name. I don't even know, but, um, I'm just calling it the rainbow collection because it's all about rainbows. So, um, these are the products I'm going to be using today. There are additional products. I might bring them over and show you, but I did link to, uh, most everything I'm going to be using today. I linked down in the video description. It's in the supplies. They're listed at the very top of the supply section. So if there's anything I use today that you are really jiving with, that you're loving, go ahead and click over and get those at either Honeybee or at Simon's Stamp or any other retail retailer that carries Honeybee. These are all the products I'm going to be using today. The, the two main ones are these two die sets. And they're so big, they barely fit on my screen. So this one um, let's see, it's called Rainbow Builder A2 Card Base. And when you cut this out, it creates, it can actually create a foldable card. Let me show you one. I got crazy this week. So when you make this and you cut it out, it creates the actual card base. So you could do just the card base if you want, or you can put it on the front of a card and it fits on an A2 card. And I cut this one in half but you could actually like leave it as this little thing. And then you'd have like a special flap on the front of your card. Like you would have a, an additional spot, but, um, I, the, on this one, I just cut it off, but you're going to see when I show this to you on, um, when you cut this card base, these lines right here are actually score lines. It's a guide for when you go to build your rainbow so that you have all the different grooves and you know exactly where to fit everything. So this is the A2, let's see, this is Rainbow Builder A2 card base. And um, I really recommend that you get these two together. You can do this one on like by itself, but this one makes it a whole lot easier to build the rainbows and you have the additional clouds and the sun and some hearts and a circle and things like that. So I'm going to set this one aside over here and we're going to talk about this one. This one right here, you get the, the actual like, bolder stripes. That's what this cuts down here. It cuts little individual pieces. Do you see this right here? How I've got that little gold stripe that goes through right there. We're, we're going to use these today when I build a card. So you'll see a little bit more, but, um, that's what this one down here cuts. And then all of these up here are the little accents, like this little dotted little like pom pom border in the white. And then the little kind of laurel leaf, edge and the scallop edge, you're going to get all your accents. So this one, this die set is appropriately called rainbow accents. So aptly named. So those are the, the, the two major die sets that I'm going to be using today. 
And then there are some stamps. This one actually is, let's see, I think we got dies for it. Yeah, there are stamps and dies. You can stamp your own rainbow. And then you can cut out some little elements as well as the greetings. This one is called Rainbow Dreams and it has the dies with it. I'm gonna be using this today also. And then when you wanna get into the greetings, <laughs> this is, let's see, it's called Look for the Rainbow. Tons of greetings, including ones that you could put on the inside of your rainbow cards or just any really colorful cards. You could do that too. And then Honeybee is really great about having coordinating dies for even all their sentiment sets. So if you want to put any of these sentiments right on top of your rainbow, like your die cut rainbow, you definitely could. All right, so I'm gonna put some of these aside. In fact, I've done a lot of pre like cutting to make sure that I know what I'm doing here. So the, here we are, I put it in a little cello bag. I've cut out all these little elements and I'm gonna show you how to build a little rainbow card. So I've pre-cut a bunch of elements, including all the pieces that will build my rainbow. And these pattern papers are actually from one pattern paper pack, which I apologize. I'm fairly certain it's probably sold out if they even sell it anymore. This is Ink Drops Vivid 6x6 pad from a craft consortium. And I love this one. It's so great. You've seen me use these in lives in the past. I mean, even in the recent past. So, so great. So I cut out five sheets and then I just kind of chose which one to use. Now something that you want, well, okay, here we go. Here's that card base, right? It's got those little score lines on it. I just didn't use the other half. I'm going to cut this off. I just had it hanging off the edge of my cards because I put it through my die cutting machine. So I'm only going to be building this. I don't want the whole card base. So I'm just going to lop off that little end there. And then I'm just left with the base for my rainbow, right? So if you want to follow the, the exact score lines on your rainbow base, you only want to use pieces that are cut out like this when they're the correct side up. So if I was to turn this over, notice how this side of the rainbow is just slightly thicker than this side. It gives it a little bit of a quirky, fun look, but it's for that reason, you have to be, so when you go to use these, you want to make sure that you're using the side that you cut into. So if you're familiar with die cutting, you know how like the, it gets a little bit of a rounded edge on the edge of the die cut. You want to make sure that that rounded edge is, you know, the right side up. So here is my assortment. And then out of gold foil, and I used um, this pack from Tonic their gold hearted mixed card pack. And I just used the polished gold mirror card, this stuff right here. Ta -da. I used that to cut out the sun and all these little accent pieces. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to use these little stars and hearts, but those are out of gold as well. All right. So let's get building this. So here's the little card base. This comes together so fast, you guys you will be amazed. All right. I'm going to use my tweezers. I like to like put the tweezers onto my die cut, um, as if that's where I'm going to be placing it. And then I'll flip it over. This is just a whole honeybee, um, love letter today because I'm using honeybee glue and really you don't need that much. And I'll show you a couple different ways that you can apply the glue. Okay. So I'm just going to a little line of glue there and I start adhering on one side and I catch the corner on the other side and then everything else just falls right into place. It's super fast and easy. I'm going to go ahead and just wiggle this a little bit. So it's right up to that edge. All right. Another way you can apply this because you have those score lines, I'm going to skip that little gap in the middle and I'm just going to do a line of glue down this one going right off the edge and then I can pick up my die cut and I can get that right there in the middle and press that down. So that allows you to have the glue on the actual base. 
Okay. And then we get to have fun adding all the little gold accents. Okay, so the dies that I'm using are linked down below in the supply section. So if you want to check those out, okay, this is my favorite. Oh, seriously, come on. So cute. All right, I'm going to hold this like this. Flatten that out a little bit. And I'm just going to add a little dot of glue under each little set of leaves. I'm just going to follow this around and kind of place it down. And then I'm going to stretch my hand and catch this other side. Okay. Wiggle that. Wiggle that down. And then press the rest of this down. And I'll just hold that in place for a minute or two. Not even a minute, just, you know, 15 to 20 seconds to make sure that it kind of sticks. So then I can decide if I want to have, like, do I want to have another little scallop? Or maybe I just want to do just the dots. I think the dot, just the dots could be really pretty too. Okay, so now we've got this rainbow here. It's kind of built there. I'm gonna do, they have these really cute clouds you can add. Someone in the comments just said, maybe you could add the gold scallop to one of the smaller arches. Um, I don't think you could really bend it that way. I mean, you could, tr no, you really can't. The Unless you use some really flexible material. Yeah, just like this little collection of stars right here. I think it's so cute. There's even one more star. I think it cut four stars. I was thinking I could put a little, put the, oh my word. Stop it. It's so cute. I'm just going to put glue in a couple little spots. Okay, I'm seeing a little spot right here, hanging off the edge. Let's cut that. There we go. Oh, so cute. I think I like just the sending sunshine and rainbows. I think that could be really, really cute. I'm going to tape it in two spots just because I've embossed it so the cardstock wants to curl a little bit. Pop that out. Oh, so cute. I think right there is probably about perfect. Okay, so there is the first card for today. Not bad, half hour. Spent, spent about five minutes pre-die cutting everything, but still not bad. I love how this star, like can, the little grouping of stars is on the clouds and the rainbow. I think it's super, super cute. My next idea on what you could do is you could cut all of your rainbow stripes out of white and then you could ink blend on them to make your own rainbow pieces. And I'm going to be using a bunch of different colors of ink from Simon Says Stamp. So I've got Sweets, Sherbet, Lemonade, Tide Pool, and Wisteria. And I have some, like I said, today's like a love letter to Honeybee. I'm using some Honeybee blending brushes.
Now I have all of my rainbow pieces. rainbow pieces. So I am going to be adhering them directly onto a card front. I'm not going to be using the rainbow base, like the, what was it? Rainbow Builder A2 card base. Instead, I'm going to be putting it directly onto a card front. So I also cut out the little gold pieces that go in between. So I'm first going to adhere this and then I can put the that one in between and then I can like build it from there. Okay, all right, so we have this one basically put together. I love that so much. It turned out pretty good. I was worried about it staggering a little too much, but it doesn't look too bad. All right, so I think I'm just gonna leave this one as is. I'm not gonna put a greeting on right away um, because we need to get on to my third card. Okay, so here are the two cards I've done so far today. Here are the ones that I did earlier this week. All different looks, but same dies. So fun. Okay, so for this next one, we're actually going to stamp our rainbow. This is the Rainbow Dreams with this biggest one. And I kind of want it to like just sit and like get back to its original shape, <laughs> which is a little bit hard, but that's okay. We can manipulate things a little bit. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna use my traditional rainbow order once again. just needs to end it or to finish it. Corner rounder. Ta-da! So cute. So I'm going to add that to my stack of rainbow cards that I'm collecting and we'll look at them all at the end. Okay, so for my final card <laughs> and the one I've been leading up to, which was originally going to be the only thing I did on today's live stream, but then I got carried away. Um, we're gonna make a shaker card and it is the accents die set and we're gonna use this one right here because it cuts out the stripes and we're going to cut into some white cardstock here so we want to make sure it's completely centered before we die cut it and I'm just gonna hold that in place all right, so, you know, in fact, I could have used these same white pieces that I cut earlier because we are using the, not the interior pieces. Okay, and now we're gonna work on the uh, area that's gonna go directly behind the rainbow. 
we're going to revisit those same ink pad colors again and we're going to ink blend the back wall of our shaker. I'm actually going to go trim off a little bit around the edge just because I'm thinking underneath the shaker area you'll be able to see the color when you look at the side of the card okay oh that's gonna be so cute okay so now I need some acetate that's going to go behind the rainbow so this is actually acetate from Simon's stamp and what I need to do is glue this entire rainbow piece down onto the acetate. So go around the area, and then I'm just gonna do some little dots. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna move that. I think I'm just gonna bring my acetate over, which is the exact size of my card front. I can just place that down right on top. So now I've got the acetate on there, right? So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to create the shaker area for the rainbow. So I've got my big mama roll of foam tape. I'm going to tear off quite a long piece and then I'm going to double it over on itself. So I've got two ends. I'm just gonna bring them together like this. And then the one end has the little loop and I just snip off that end. Okay, and now because um, it just makes it easier to bend, I'm gonna cut this in half. It'll make it easier to go around the, the curvature of the rainbow. I'm gonna take off both sides of the release paper. And that makes it so that the, the foam tape can be really wiggly. So now I can just go around just like that. And I can even peel off a little more and make this corner and go along the bottom. And then I just kind of eyeball it, try to get my scissors right in there. I'll cut it off and then close up that well. And then with the remainder of the foam strip that I've already made, I can just fill in these corners. Peel these release papers up and then we can put all of our little shaker bits inside. Now for my sequence today, I have chosen Fairy Dust from Lucy's Cards. It's just kind of like a small little confetti. I don't think I want much more than that. And then, let's see, I want the pink on the back, so I'm gonna go this way. And then, Okay, I'm gonna really press this around. I'm gonna get out my misty again because I'm gonna use the corner of the misty to help get this into the card just right. So I'm gonna take my foam pad out of my misty and I'm just gonna place that down in there. And I'll take my Tombow adhesive, add that to the back, and then I'm gonna grab another card base and I can just get that, line that right up into the corner of the misty, press down really well, and then I can lift it up. <gasps> I love it. That is so fun. A 
Love that. All right. So now let's put a quick greeting on this and then we'll call it a day. All right. So I think I'll use some greetings from this stamp set. I think I just want to do sending sunshine and good vibes like I did here, or maybe just even sending sunshine. And I love that they're not like perfect. Like what's the word? Perfect squares and like cut perfectly. I love that. All right. We're an hour and 20 minutes in. <laughs> how many, how many cards did I do? Well, technically two of them I did before I even started, but let's get these all out here. So here are all the cards I showed you guys in today's live stream. And so I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks so much for joining me today. You can check out all the supplies that I've used down below in the video description and um, do a little shopping. I love the rainbow stuff. Uh, I'm assuming I'll probably speed through some parts during the edited version of this. So I wanted to mention <laughs> some really fun ideas that we came up for additional uses with the rainbow dies and stamps. And one of them was um, doing Christmas cards with um, like colors of red and green and maybe having a snowflake peeking out in the top instead of the sun. Um, we had some ideas for the 4th of July using red, white, red, white, and blue and having a firework back there. Um, really fun ideas on how to create the whole rainbow idea and have it apply to other situations. So I hope you'll check those out. Um, have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys uh, next week. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.